I can hear the dogs barking. I look at the calendar. There's a dog and a kitty and some leaves here in the poor side of Minnetonka in the studio on the beautiful day of the Blackjack Day of the 11th month of the 2023. My name is Jeff. And it's feed. And it's feed. Mon Green Radio. Post or pre- Turkey Day, gobble, 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 audio uh, edition. I was supposed to go to McGregor, Minnesota. Well, thank God. I don't have to. I'll be able to uh, go do some train spotting in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. We're sharing out the audio. We appreciate anybody who does share the audio for me out there. I don't ask for any gur, any money. We appreciate anybody that comes to this non-monetized channel. We appreciate it. And the monetized channel, wherever you're at, behalf of myself and the dogs and the kitty and my entire family, we wish everybody a happy and safe turkey day. Heather Tails into the grave. i got to finish up the green line. Get in with some food poison. You want to lose a quick 10 pounds? I don't know what it was, if that was something, but it kind of it took me um, down for a while to do that. I was, oh, man, I was just I could not hold it in. I'd fart and fill my pants. We're Calpo Radio on Twitter, Twatter, Twatter, and, uh, you know, whatever. We're commercial, music-free, sponsor-free podcast. We don't ask for any gear around here. never have any will. I mean, it's amazing how people, I was talking to douche, and I'm like, it's just nonstop. People asking for money and this or that. It's like, if you can't do it by yourself, then don't bother. And I'm getting Spotify. It's not giving me a little, a little lick and tick. So I'm getting a little more girl, almost $100 a month. And I'm much, much appreciated. Um, how much your content creating? Goes? Really, no, who really cares? Who in the hell are you in the first place? It's going just fine. It's going fine. Thank you so much. Somebody is asking me how my content is. It's going good. Thank you so much. Anyways, but um, mm -hmm, let's go over here. Mm -hmm. When you follow somebody else, they want to they want to promote your young ass. So I'm just kind of I'm just kind of uh, pushing out some stuff, retweeting. Let's get over to uh, YouTube. Let's get some music in here. Everything's all well. I heard they got some snow up and shuffled. The buffalo got spanked and embarrassed. So it is what it is. Getting myself, I saw that, uh, what's his name, uh, Carp Breaker says he has autism, whatever, and, you know, claiming he had, whatever, I see he did a thing on that, so, there's one little girl, <laughs> she's a midget, she's pretty funny, she does some shorts, it's like a verse, are pretty funny, there's some pretty good funny people on here that, uh, call me Chris is funny, there's a couple, and there's one, one on here, there's, uh, the Taylor Tomlinson, she's a really comedian, she's gorgeous and good too as well, a couple of her shorts are funny as hell. But there are good people on you can follow, you can watch, and give yourself a little laughter. There's a lot of, if you're young, if you're um, obsessing the playlists of all devices, what's this all about? So, oh, let's see. Let's get some music in here. Let's get four minutes. Four. Let's go four. Four minutes. Build some new stuff on here. Let's see. This was light bright. Let's see what this is. See, that's supposed to be good. No, I guess. Okay, we'll take it. All right, fine. Anyways, Torsen is called. I guess. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take it. Here we go. Anyways, welcome to Fear Mongering Radio. Just kind of figured out some music, put my ears here. We talked, took a nap for 20 minutes, did the NFL pot, did my uh, speculation sports for the audio. Let's talk about some stalker news, pizza wars. I guess they're sending pizza to each other. A boogie tuner at one in the Illuminati. And a turkey day and some train spotting we're doing. We're going to be going down to, we're going to put them up here on uh, this channel in, in lovely down in Atlanta. Mm hmm. 
But as I'm talking to you here, in the outskirts, Turkey Day is coming up, and we always talk about um, the men and women of the armed forces. And uh, hang on a second, I don't. I have a marketing strategy for you, which would you like to build your community? I don't have a community. I'm going to block you. I don't care. I'm going to unfollow. I don't care what you have to say. Some shallow. I don't care. I'm going to block. I don't, I don't need you. Hang on a second. I don't care. I don't need. I don't care about your about your. Um, Sending me messages about it. I don't have a community, a community, a community. community. Okay. Anyways, we much appreciate these men, women, the armed forces that we you gathered on the table. I don't care if it's ham or turkey. Me and her is going to get together. We didn't get anybody where any invite anywhere, which is fine. We don't care. I was telling douche. We're going to get with her family. We're going to have we're going to have one in December. My mother was alive. We, a Sunday before Christmas, we got together. That was a given. Like I said, if I was a rock band and the Grammys or whatever, you you marked it down and you were there. Okay? My mother, you were there. You were at her house. Every year on that holiday before Christmas, we got together with my mother. And you better have a damn good excuse. Either you're dead or you're in the hospital. You were there. That's the way it was. We were there. So we were going to have one up in Randall, but, you know, whatever. So that's when we did our Deadpool picks. And there was a Deadpool hit. What's your name? Did pass away. Um, Rolls and Carter. We got Deadpool. My niece got that Deadpool hit on her. So I said, that's fine. You know, I don't care. You know, I, I, I don't have to give up the money I'll make at the airport. So that's fine with me. You know, there's a lot of tension when I'm around their family. It's always uh, on uh, eggshells. But with my mother, it was about family. What's about to get together and eating and food. Hanging around at Christmas time. We would give out gifts. Then you went your own way. But we got together with my mom and everybody else. You were there. All 40 of us were in her house or in her facility on that day for Christmas. That was the family get together. No questions asked. We got to get together in the summertime. No questions that we were at the house, at my brother's house, to down every 4th of July to celebrate my father's passing away. We got together to celebrate family. And that's what this is for, this holiday. It's be thankful. My brother-in-law is blind. He cannot see, but I've never heard him bitch. Zane B Sports in the city of Oregon. I'm a board member of Speculation Sports and... Jamie C. in the city of Barley Shove, both 25 known graduated, both one of the original board members. I knew since they were 14 up to now. I've known them for years. Good friends. B- b- uh, butt Cheek Sports, now it's like 20. He's a cop in L.A. Good friend. All these people I know, but I know you'd be thankful for family, man, because we don't have it. We have wars over there in Israel, Ukraine. People dying in the forest and in, in the woods to get here, whatever else in over there. They want to come here and work hard. Great, Could we have people on this video platform, video platform who don't want to work. Be thankful, you're American citizen for Christ. You got your health. I have type two. I did a, I did a, I did a um, taste test for uh, uh, with Pepsi, Dr Pepper, and Coca Cola and uh, Dole Lemonade. I'll come up later. Do that. Do a, a live stream. I. I'll put that up. So, but be thankful during this holiday season. You have a country, and you have a family. And you can, you can, you can read. You can breathe. You can walk. You can talk. You can hear. You can see. If you can, as you gather around, remember of the Air Force, the Army, and the Marines, and the Navy, and the Merchant. And the National Guard and the Coast Guard, they're in on uniform that have balls the size of basketballs. And they do have ovaries the size of oak trees. The men and women blue, and God bless the working class. I don't work until when I get off tomorrow. I'm, I get tomorrow off. I will have Thursday, Friday off. And we will I'll do finish up the green line that I'd walk down. She saw the video. She was, that's trespassing. And I said, I know put a part of the video up over on my other this channel so yes i know we finish up a couple we get that done before the snow flies here in the great state of minnesota they stormed those beaches we've talked about on world war ii at one they stormed those beaches and they snapped the necks of the krauts and freed the jews still anti semitism it's unfortunate don't get along anymore who cares what the color your skin is if you don't like i said 
men having sex he has to women to learn to get along in this country they hate is a very 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 tough word to use I, I, I publicly would hang pedophiles and murderers absolutely rapists absolutely I'd love to wealthy tomorrow I'd open a DNR uh, a, a DNR a um, DNA where you can Give me all your DNAs and these rape, rape kits that are being tested. We would start getting these these pedophiles and these rapists off the streets and we'd start publicly hanging them like they did to the Nazis. But think of these men and women. Are we serving you? Domestic and abroad. And the men and women blue, if you do not like a cop, please call a crackhead. Okay? Behave yourself. Take care of your community. Do something substantial. That's all I'm asking. God bless the working class like I said. They go to work every day, make a living, support their children, go to schools. There are middle class out who give two Fs about Donald J. or the plagiarizer has a birth, happy birthday, crazy Joe. And people having money here on YouTube, constantly asking for good money. Constant. Cash app this and cash app that. I'll just cash a check. Anyways, thank you. Put a plate out for the men, women, the armed forces that are serving us domestic and abroad. Will you shower? Would you shower in that shower of Penn State? I would not shower in that shower. P stood for Penn State on this podcast until he's still alive. It's pedophilia university, not Joe Pa. He got away with it. Died a free man. Should have died in his jail cell. You don't slam a locker and tell two people. You snap the neck of the of the pedophile there in the shower. Let him drop to his knees. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies, let the bodies hit the floor. Make good choices in your life. Don't run with poor people. You be poor. Right? Run with good people. I live well, married well, work well, travel well. Proud of my life. Mom taught me how to pay myself first. But my father, they worked well. Make good choices. Refer to this as a, a condom. Prevent pregnancies. Wild, uninhibited sex. Just all out. It's fun. It's great. Until all of a sudden, whoops. You're the father, the child, or the father that runs off. And you're stuck with the child. Past the day to get an abortion. Now you pump that baby out. You're screaming and hollering. He does come back to give you the junior of the game to ruin the child's life like douche. Mmm, good cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, strip time. We ran, I had to go buy Costco today. Got my far side calendar. But yes, please put a condom on. Prevent AIDS and herpes, gonorrhea, needing the penis. I mean, as long as they're of age, I, you know, might have a gangbang, have at it. Might go up to someone's hindquarters, have at it. I don't care. And don't drink and drive to this holiday season. Call some mercy. All right, pick up the phone, call someone, or you will murder somebody. Okay, that's all we're asking. We're sharing out the show who runs Spreaker, Spracker, Sprocker on Twitter, Twatter, Twatter. Oh, yes, it is so, so, so happy for the Steel Toad Tard show. Really are. We're happy for him. We don't care, but yes, I am live. But right now, I'm in the middle of a, a feeder mongering radio. Chris Ranson. I am live. I'm dealing with a uh, drama right now. Mm-hmm. Anyways, oh, let's go look at fear, on fear, on fear, on fear, mom. We're ready. Where you guys are coming in from, shall we? Mm-hmm. And they've been coming in they've been pretty good. A little under a hundo in the last 30 days. Geolocations that roll in. The United States of America got 40. Canada, India, France, Ukraine, Saudi Arabia, United England, Brazil, Malaysia is new in Romania. 
Minnesota, Missouri, California, Texas, Illinois, Virginia, Rhode Island, the stalker himself, Arkansas, Florida, Wisconsin, Washington, Alabama, Roll Tie Roll, and New York, New York. New Plaza, Texas, is Dallas and Austin. Florida is Sarasota, Tampa. And he shall not be named, it's kind of fall up to nothing. Centron has been one time. California, San Jose, Pasadena, and up in Minnesota is Coon Rapids, Elk Grove, Minneapolis, Pilger is new, that's right by Randall, Minnesota, and Oakdale, Pilger is on the outskirts, right down from Randall, Minnesota, Elk River, you're new, one time, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Illinois is Greenville, and Virginia is Glenallen, so thank you, Alabama is Foley, like I said, and up in Washington, Roy, twice. Oh, here we are. Fear Mongering Radio. A beautiful Tuesday chipper night. A little windy today. And hanging out. Got some candy in for the Christmas. Had to unload a couple of skids and then to run out to Hutchinson. And went to the country kitchen. $21.35 for a breakfast at lunch at 11 o'clock. I'm like, holy balls. Flip to 26 boxes and keep the change. So here we are. It's week 12 of the National Fix League. You guys already got all my picks already. I know Chris Ransom won. I'm going to call him out an answer because we're going to get some we're going to get some stalker news here. So if I understand, if I read it right and talk to Douche, there's a lot of sending of pizzas back and forth between him, the stalker, and penis breath. I understand. A lot of this behavior going on, making up drama, drama, drama with the stalker. Okay. Oh, it's just now growth it's still going on here. Okay, let's go over here to the trials later. So dumb. So there's a lot of this just going on. I, I, it, I get it, but it's also very childish. See if I had a pizza joint, it's not leaving until it's paid for. So if you're any pizza place that's sending out pizzas with no money to this day and age, you're stupid. And any food place I'm not delivering it. You, you, you're not paying me before I leave. You're paying me. It's, do, it's stupid. It's dumb. It's dumb. Okay, it's just, I mean, we, we get a downstroke at the airport before you, 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 have to, you have to pay up before you get to the limo. You have to, you have to get paid. Before you get there, you're already paid. You just don't hail, hail us. We're not, we're, not, we're, not, we're not a taxi. But I guess this is going on. And I did listen to part of the response here with you, um, Georgia Peach. I mean, I'm not going to play it back. He's screaming, horseshit sound. Dave's got long silence. It's really bad. You know, he's drunk. He's stoned. And it's just, it's, it's okay. If you're going to rip on me, rip. Stay on task. But they're both so high. I listened to him while I was driving. I, he was live. I wouldn't bother the, the front. Okay, anything good? Any juicy, good stuff? No. Georgie Peach is so... That guy... This is 1 o'clock in the afternoon, my time, 12.30. I'm driving down the, down the road in a truck, and these guys are doing some live stream with nothing to do. Nothing to do. It's just sad. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's just sad. I mean, nothing at all. Just hanging out. Ripping on me. Mm-hmm. You know, train spotting, and he says I was in Duluth, Minnesota. How do you know in Duluth, Minnesota? How do you know that, man? He says I was in Atlanta, bitch, please. Him and his butt, buddy. But uh, it's just this, so they're going back and forth with with Nelly and the stalker and Dave. And I told you, I twenty seventh day. This man, the the lead stalker in this whole behavior, his fiance. Okay, if, if he didn't like him, I, I don't. I mean, I don't say his name. I don't. If he was in my room, like, he gets he gets blocked. He, if you don't like the guy, then block him. But he doesn't because they, they, they just love each other. They'll be back playing videos that game again. They love each other. Sending pizzas to each other. You know, the, the, the Negro thing out there with, um, out, in, uh, uh, out there in, um, in Rhode Island. I'm sorry, man. You don't call someone to do that and yell at a guy on the phone. I, I hope he does. He needs a little lesson. His grandmother needs to kick him out, which I guess she's going to do. This guy's just a pot-smoking 25-year-old. There's an article I read in the Star Tribune. 
And the lady had talked about that all she was doing is smoking marijuana. Her friends would come up every single day and they would smoke marijuana. Hey, I was in Las Vegas. I walked in and looked. There was like 35 bucks, a bunch of blunts and little things you put in your pipe. I'm like, okay, I get it. I, I just don't really care. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not in the mood to be smoking. I get it, you know, but it's just... It's, it's, it's full of YouTubers that are just trash and Tina and Savage and all these people that don't go anywhere. Even Arizona Ingrid claiming that he's got a GoPro. Well, if you do got a GoPro, then go do something substantial. Go do something. I plan on leaving early and do, I'm going to do some videos tomorrow. I got to get stuff all kind of... I, I got stuff well in September. He was bitching. I, I heard him bitching that... It was snorkeling, yeah. I, I, I was snorkeling, and I put it out later. That's not a big deal. Whenever I put it out, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when you put it out. People come, I've had some the car ones. I got our 500. I appreciate that. Those I did a long time, but people come and watch that, and those videos can be watched whenever they please. It doesn't matter when you do it. I watch older videos from 12 years ago. It doesn't matter when you did it. I mean, then I have time to screw around with this channel. If I want to build it, and I can do other fill-in videos. Why every day I have something coming out. I could be, I could not do a video for three weeks and screw around, not touch a camera. But things do get me. I'm doing some of those, for some of those uh, things with um, what's his name? Um, uh, the uh, I'm doing some screw around with the uh, the cameo behavior on, on the cameo thing with with what's his name? Um, oh God, what the hell's his name? He, uh, Steel Toad Tarch, you idiot. What the hell's his name? I had him before. Um, Corey Adam, right? I don't know why you pay to have someone do a cameo for you. That's stupid. I don't care who it is. It's dumb. Waste of money, good suffering. It's like paying for an autograph. No. I mean, Pete Rose charges too. It's like, no, I'll just sign the damn thing. Like, I wanted the, the, the front row stuff for, 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 um, for the picture for um, Ted. He said, just have George sign it. Okay, it's for a friend. Okay, just sign it. The boys have signed it. You sent him to sign it. Don't play games with me. I know you're a security guard. Just go do it. I'm not paying for any 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 all, any autograph for anybody. Okay, shake hands more fun or a high or whatever. But this pizza behavior is just childish. That's the problem. Is when you know we we I used to troll back and forth, counter trolling with Debbie Daly and, and uh, news guy and you know Paul Demsky and. I mean, Sven was fun, but then they, they doxed him. They both did. And even Dave's dad doxed him, which was stupid. Yeah, he made some poor choice in the courtroom. Didn't listen to a, a judge. My mother would have executed him. Executed him. You know, but still, you don't. It's none of your goddamn business. But people love to, to dox people, send people stuff. And I'll talk Wonder Hussy. People found out her phone number. But when your real name's out there and your address, people will find it, you know. You want to you want to you want to f with my family? You'll be executed in the streets. And like I told Dave, I said, I'd, if he doesn't like that, I just I'd execute him. Maybe you find the body, maybe you don't. They clean the house out. There's nothing left. Body, nothing's around. Everything's all gone. Done. Or you leave them in there. I don't know. But I just maybe you throw them in the garbage can. They go, they go, they go, they go, they go, they go to a burning facility. Never seen again. But I think it'd be more fun to dig a body and put it in, put it in the ground somewhere. Put somewhere and then just give clues to where it's at. Every every month you give a clue to where the body's at. That's what I would do. I don't know. It, whatever. I don't. You don't. It's 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 clear and present danger. I, I get give people crap. You like people's family. I just you don't put that stuff. It just you don't. You you get rid of that problem. You just don't. It's not that tough. Hey, the stalker wants to rape my wife and tire me. Have me watch. It doesn't work that way. You know, you can do it all you want. I mean, he wanted to go down and see me in, in Boston, I guess. He's well, lucky I wasn't there. If he went down there, he'd been executed right there. Reminded that guy was in Boston about 15 years ago. His friend was molesting his uh, his, his son. And he goes, why did you do He killed him right there. I don't I don't put that kind of behavior. You, you eliminate the Who's that turtle boy, idiot? I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not saying I want to get company. But if, if that turtle boy came to me in public and I was a public official, you, you, you're not yelling at somebody in public. What are you doing? I don't understand that, man. Why someone do that behavior? But be allowed to do that kind of behavior. I don't know. I don't get it. And then all of a sudden, when it's time to execute or something, oh wait a minute, you can't do that. Well, I don't know. I'm not into um, threatening people or having them come to me. But it's like just that's what you do with these people that will constantly just harass you. You just you, you get it done. I mean, the like boogie two nine eight. We should have went out the baseball bat and broke those guys' knee. Both ball them, start swinging that bat, start knocking those guys right down. Just out of knocked them down, or put the bullet right to that guy's head. The cameraman first, then kneecap the other guy. That's what I would have done. I would have walked on the back like I did here twice, 
and took a bat to him, knocked them both off the porch. I would have the guy continue to film it, and then after, and then he's done filming, just beat the hell out of these guys. That's what you do. You take a bat to these people. I got a bat up front. I'll walk and start swinging it. I don't care. It's just the way it works, man. You eliminate that threat. Your family should be your first possession that you want to protect. I just, I get, you'd be a show, but you start sending people's houses and you start harassing people, you're hunted down and you're executed. It's all there is to it. The only way to you protect yourself from people is that stalker in town here has been tossed, stalking these beautiful women who are radio gr- women. They're, I love them both. They're on the, um, uh, the, uh, the current. Both beautiful, sweet, great disc jockeys. He's harassed the second. Why isn't he in jail? Why is he not executed? Why is he not executed? You eliminate that problem. I don't know what happened to him. He's dead. Who knows? The cops will look at it. I don't know. We're investigating. They'll more something more substantial. It's all there is to it. The guy's harassing these people. These beautiful, sweet um, uh, women that are on the radio. They're just a really good to listen to. Both quit because this idiot has not been taken out. You take out the stalker. You eliminate the problem. It's all there is to it. I'm not advocating killing people, but when you go to court and you have to fight it, you, just, you, you stand up and you go, listen, hey, I guess I did it, but what would you do? Close your eyes. What would you do? The person, and they maybe one gets you off, or you look at the judge and say, "Okay, I was found guilty," and you say, "I'm sorry," and then you, uh, mercy. Maybe he gives you, he he shakes his head. I'll give you ten years minimum. You'll be out in five. Thank you, Your Honor. You leave. He's dead. You're gone. You get out in five. You're a hero. That's all there is to it. What's the one um, death wish? That's all there is to it. I get having fun with these pizza behavior, threaten people's children. Uh uh-uh. uh. Don't like that behavior. But that's I was in YouTube. It's all it's always going to people's houses and you know, look at Savage, same thing, driving up people. You're lucky uh, that once again, Haggy Rants would have been executed. Jeff Tutorial would have both been executed for what they did to Eddie. I know Eddie was could be a dink. But he would have been, first tutorial, would have been executed right there on the deck. Would have hunted him down. And then Jeff Hagee would have been executed in his room for what he did. You don't send someone to someone's house and do your own effing. I'm sorry. You may not like what I'm saying. Hey, governor has threatened my wife. He will not. Hey, man, I, he, will, he will pay the ultimate price for his behavior. I, don't, I know the buyers are bad. I was listening to a Chicago about uh, the mayor. He knew the buyers were buried in Chicago when he took over. I don't like that behavior. I guess he's ma- has a baby. That's sad. That's If he has a child, he's pregnant with him, that's sad. I know. I mean, same thing with Kruger. That, you, you do that, give up people's phone number, you come to them. You come to them. You come to them. And remember me? It's time to bury your body. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Maybe you let them suffer. Maybe it's quick. Who knows? Whoever you want to take out, that's the way it works. You can't mess people's family. I get all this behavior, the pizza behavior, that's childish. Please, I seek everyone to get help in this whole pizza, penis, but the stalker, douche, whoever is doing this stuff. Because Boogie2998, people are, are realizing he's a liar. He just loves this this behavior one guy's yeah he's lying he's not broke it's just like with Pick- pickle boy he didn't get married she's she's living it on welfare and he knows it he didn't get married come on i saw that title i'm like give me a break if you believe that's true then i'm a pleasant millionaire from dubai okay i get it you want to think you want to believe it go right ahead and believe it but it's not it's false it's just drama, 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 drama. Okay, I get it. It's fun to think you know it, and I get all this behavior, but it's like, for Christ's sake, for the love of God. <sighs> but yeah, Boogie is still still um, dick riding people, thinking he's just video game media. Again, if this guy is your favorite YouTuber, and he you entertains you, you have a serious problem. Serious problem. He's an obese man who's a bold-faced liar. I saw the one video. He was on his hands and knees apologizing to um, drama. What the hell is that guy? Let's get into it. But he's just loving it. He's growing his channel. It's just like Kurt Baker. I happen to see the title, How I'm Living Autism at 41. I highly doubt it. I, I guess it's just a good way to feel sorry for me to grow his channel. His channel is dying. 
okay? And it's his way of, okay, if you got autism, okay, I, I guess. He's always got that goofy look on his face and his girlfriend who he'll get pregnant and marry her. You know, she's, that's all they do is they go after the, 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 the autism people, the kids with toys. And I get it. Same thing with Daily Woo, Disney World. I do all kinds of my channel. Bike riding, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so that his, he's not only running on content, just like with Daily Woo, the, the, the troll patrol. He's like, now he's showing his house, and like Wonder Hus, he's doing the same thing. But Boogie 298, they just can't do a straight video. Who in the hell is going to watch an hour a walk and talk about autism? Yeah, it sucks. Okay, I guess you got autism. But, you know, he's, he's, I don't know. I just, it's just, the car beggar, when I first saw the guy, he was good. He did 50 minute videos, now he does hour videos. And it's about a quick, if you want to be noticed, you got to keep that 12 minutes. I do these audios, you can listen to them. People can listen in their, in their ear as I talk with music in the background. But they're not going to watch a four-hour video. I've, I listened to a couple today that were like 50 minutes about Chicago mayor. It was very good about how his whole life was. It was very good how, how you know, didn't want the white one of the black. We don't want no Negroes moving in, whatever. I listened to that. Was, that was very good about Chicago. That was a very good, interesting video to listen to. Documentary, not somebody showing me a, 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 a whatever the hell you're going to Disney World. I mean, how many times do you know Disney World? There are so many Disney bloggers out there. It's not even funny. And, oh, here we are. You got to get all excited. But Boogie is just lying to you guys. He's not broke. These guys believe it because they believe what they see on YouTube, just like a pickle boy. I mean, it's just it's nonstop. Playing video games is not content. Because a lot of people will bitch about... One guy bitch about Boogie. What was he doing? He was playing a video game while he's talking. Why? People watching. One guy coming up, oh, I like the video game. But he was watching the video game while he was listening to this guy bitch about Boogie. Because what are they getting? The 15-year-old mind of the average male that's going to watch and 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 going to watch. Men are visual. Women are emotional. Why women play video games? They get emotional and the more people in the room. Oh, there's 15 people. Who cares? I get my views, my ticks, and my licks. Be cu- get creative. Go outside with a, with, a, with a camera and show people something. But Boogie's just lying, you guys. He's lying. He isn't. So the Wonder Hussy. I follow her on Facebook. I don't... I only listen to her, her videos when it's something that she's like her her life or something. Like I like an update. Because then I like to listen to it as I'm driving. Because then she tells... she really good at, e- at e-begging. At drive begging. Because she talked about her truck getting fixed and how much it cost. Right? I'm like, okay. So guess what? Then she got stuck in Vegas. So people were... Uh, Call, uh, we're telling her she got hosed from a mechanic. Okay, don't give her the mechanic's name. Carolyn RV did that one time, and people called the, the mechanic as she claimed she got hosed, and um, which she likes to do. I used to, I, I, I first time I saw Carolyn RV, I thought she was pretty cool. She did some great shit. Now all she does is bitches, and I don't need to hear that. Behavior. I want to show me something wherever you are, and someone say, give me an idea if you go somewhere. Hey, I wrote down a few people. I, there's one guy. I, I wrote down a few things he's been doing in San Diego. I want to go to. That's I get ideas. Don't bitch to me and don't try to sell me something. I wonder how she's gave me a lot of good ideas. I went to Red Rock Canyon where she went. That gave me an idea. I wrote it down. You know, I'm not going to go all her other places, but she's done a few things. Hey, I'll write that down if I'm in the area. She gives me ideas. That's good. You like that? Okay, that's a cool place to go. But, um, so she has hinted on a truck, okay? Well, she should be getting an all-wheel drive vehicle. She's going to run around, right? So she's wanted, she has a Toyota Highline, whatever the hell it is. <laughs> so she's beats the piss out of it with, with her stuff, right? So she has her full name out there and her address. People have come by the house, knocked on the window, okay? The minor guy who she knows, people walk on the house. Like I told Sue, I want to go see the guy. Hey, I'd walk up, knock on the door. Hey, how you doing? If you, if you go down, would you have time for a tour? 
but I wouldn't, if he's not there, I'm not walking on the house. I'd write a note on here. I was here to see you weren't here. My name is Jeff. I'll see you next time. If I, I'll be in the area for the next day, maybe. Give me a call myself. I'll, I'll let you in. But I'd like to um, tour it. But I would not walk on his house. I would leave a note on the door and walk back. It'd be the, you know, it's like a restaurant. But I would not walk around his house. And I'm not walking from Wonder Hussey. I'd say, hey, listen, I'm going to be in town. This one guy was in her town for a week looking for her. I'm like, really? What's wrong with you people? Another time she was uh, camping with her sister and her, her boyfriend, her, her, her sister, and they were discovered where she was at and went. And I was like, what are you doing? Leave the woman alone. You know, I get it. It's a because it, you don't know about YouTube. It, it's a celebrity level right here. You you can reach out to your soul, your your hero here, and send he or she an email, and they'll respond back, and they'll talk to you in the message board. And if you give them money, they'll, they'll send you money back. That's a, if it's Tina D. You can point at the, I met her. I know her. You know whatever it may be. There's certain people on here that you can talk to, go on live with because you they're your hero, right? I, I, I've, I've had emails back and forth Wonder Hussy Given ideas Whatever I told her About certain things You know I said about the Pinball museum I told her about the place I said it'd be really good For you to do it I don't think she will But if she was out there It'd be a great video For her to do that But you know Whatever but The car museum Is kind of cool To go to as well I, 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 You know Because she's running Out of things to do too well Because she's done So much fun Where she's lived And she can only do So Vegas so much but so somebody, because she's been hinting about a vehicle. So what they did, either because as she gets more popular, more things, because she's the new, the ex-nudie model, and she has all that stuff up on, on her, on her um, Instagram. If you, I feel like telling if you don't want, if you don't be that business, delete all your pictures off your Instagram. It's all nude stuff. Just get rid of it. If you want to get rid of it, just you know, it's like being in the, in the porn business. And I got a website of on there. Well, then I better delete all the stuff. Okay, I don't have it on my news. So, if she gets more popular, it's great. She starts to get over 100,000. She's going great. More people are going to try to, you know, hey, we, what was she doing? Listen to her shit because she's going to try begging. So, hang on a minute. So, she... Hang on a second. Boom, da, 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 da. So, she... Somebody got her cell phone number because once her name is out there, nothing else. What do they do? They send her, they put her name on a bunch of Toyota dealerships, and now she's getting phone calls. Go to her Wonder Hussy, well, you'll see it. Okay? Now she's getting phone calls from lovely and talented Toyota, because they think she wants a car, but she's she wants a truck. She, she's real good at drive begging, but I, like I said to her, if you're going to ask for and say how much to tr- fix a truck, you're going to get both best of both words. You're going to get people giving you money because she wants money. People sent her money to pay for the bill. She claims she's on a budget. I don't think she, I think she makes an, enough money, but it's just her dry begging. It just makes me laugh for that she can't both ways. But the point is, don't do that to the woman. What the hell's wrong with you people? Go into her house, but her address is out there because she doesn't want items. I sent her a hat and shirt and some food for fun. Put a board directors. I'm not sending that woman any money. Like I told Dave, if I was going to send Wonder Hussey money, yes, here's $500 from me. It goes straight to her because I'm not going to give her money through, for anything else. Like like when she does a live stream, I think they take 30%. I'm not only giving you too many money. I'm not doing it. I'll give it right to her. Cash. Cash mola. Right? Here in the, here's 50 cents in the envelope and boom. There you go, young lady. There you go. That's why you... But just... You know, I'm not surprised. I saw that. I just, I laughed. I giggled. But don't be surprised, young lady. Don't be surprised, sweetheart. I've tried to tell in emails. I know you want and people. You put your address out there. People will come by your house because you're their hero. I told her that in an email one day. I said, why? You know, just, just don't get it. If she wants to be famous. Well, guess what, sweetheart? You're going to be famous. I only said something happened to you because I'm a stocky idiot, a male who's visual. Oh, can I see your boobies? She's nothing special. She's no, no boobs and she's five foot three, but she's a nice lady. She's your favorite YouTuber. Fine. If you want to support her, send her money, but don't go to the woman's house and don't put her on some, 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 
Toyota website and say she wants a truck. She doesn't want to pay for it. She wants it free. She wants somebody to give her one. Who gave her the other one? Okay? That's why she says things. She got a chair she wanted. It was a knockoff. Instead of saying thank you, she said it was a knockoff. She wants to be famous. I'd rather be famous for finding that guy who disappeared here in Minnesota. I'm going to look for his body for the sun, before the snow comes. That's what I'm going to be famous for. I find a missing body somewhere. I'm walking around. There's something happened. I find something that's missing. That's what I want to be famous for. I, she wants it so bad, but people just quit stalking the woman. But you can't both ways. If you're going to put that stuff out there, what are you two doing in here? What are you doing in here? Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nom, 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 nom. You're a good dog. I know you're a good you. Your sister's the grumpy one. Yeah, you. Come here, grumpy. Come here. Come here, Chloe. I know you're jealous. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Butthead. Butthead. Oh, why did Mama drop you off in here? What's going on with you, girl? Come here. But I just I saw that with with her. Is that she was uh, complaining on her? But you know, she's got all these emails she's got to answer. She didn't answer me on the. I did. I sent an email back and forth. I answered that stuff. I, I, I just sweetheart. I'd love to meet her when I was out there in Vegas. I'm gonna be out there in February. I want to go to that. That um. I want to go to. I want to go to that um. Roland um. um uh, uh, Ghost Town. I want to go to that one out there in her area. I, I, I asked her about that. And the other guy I've not seen in a while. Who was out there with her too? Well, I've not seen him in a while. He hasn't done anything in a while. Hope he's okay. He was really cool. He does some really cool shit, but he went all the time puts in. Probably didn't make any money. I have no idea. I never. Hey, I don't make a lot of money here. But I don't know what's going on there. But it's too bad. With um, what are you two doing here? Come here. She let you in here. Get over here, Chloe girl. Chloe. <whistles> Chloe. Chloe, come here. You come here. Not you. Come here, Chloe. You're a butthead, and so are you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me kiss you, kid. You give good kisses. Yes, you do. Your sister wants to go. Why, well, if you come over here, I give you kisses. Don't act too. Don't get that look of puppy eyes. Go with your, go with your sister. Go with your sister. Get out of here. Get. Get, get out of here, Chloe. Coco. <laughs> See you later, my head. Anyways. <sighs> Anyways, so I just, it's just, you know, I, I, I saw that. And I'm like, oh, I'm not surprised. As you get more popper, sweetheart, and they find out you're a nude model, those guys that were fall, fall her, get all excited, and yeah, you know, I get it, and you, you, you still push the lever, and I, I get it, you know, her birthday was September, Christmas is coming up, she's going to get all kinds of Christmas, Christmas, she'll do that, she did one last year, Santa Claus, do you, do you hear me, and people sent her, she flashed money real quick, so she will get Christmas gifts, Christmas, Chris, 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 Christmas, trust me, bunch, she will get it, trust me, alright, but I just, it just blows me away, these people, I just... I don't know, man. I, I get it. I like certain YouTubers too, as well. I think they're they're cool to you know, to it'd be cool to meet a couple. But it's like, for Christ's sake, man! It's like, my God, you guys! I, I just don't get it, man. Sometimes it just blows me away this behavior. So what are you gonna do, right? I don't know. But I saw that with her. I'm like, you know, young lady, that's the way she goes, man. What's this? Uh, too bad Eric to do the really. What's this? Uh, I love all these people always fighting. These people out here just, oh my goodness. Wow, wow. But, anyways, I just saw that wonder hussy. So, I just like, just, you can like her, I get it. Just let the woman, you want to meet her, send an email, but don't go by her house and don't put her on, on a Toyota thing. Okay? It's just, come on. I get it. You know, you want to send these people money, I get it. The bottom line is, it's just, I don't know, what's this? Jesse Ridgeway, move, the movie has a rap, who cares? Jesse Ridgeway, who cares? Oh boy. Another fake YouTuber that people just love for some reason. Intermediate, better me, what's this? Uh, intermediate coaching, what's this all about? 
Anyway, so that's the hustler, and I know she's. We'll see what she does tomorrow. It'll be interesting to see what she's ever left the house. So I don't know. Who knows? She go east, and this. I feel some people like like her and the Daily Woo and Carp Bagger that this is their job, and they have to make a new video every single day, and they just don't get it. So anyway, so now there's another one that. Because a lot of people are on here. I mean, I talk about right now. I talk. I'm talking on the fly here about these people, right, on YouTube. That do what I'm doing, but they do it in this video fashion. They do like an hour and fifteen minutes. So it's called Il Il Manati. I have it in the name here. Okay, she did a really good video on um, the pedophile, both pedophiles, um, the um, Vogel, and she did a good one on the on the um, the Duggar kid. Very good. She she would do these videos. I mean, they were over. I mean, they were to get, people work for her, I guess. Okay, I, I'm here. This is where it goes. What I'm talking about, right? So I, I, I guess she fell from grace. I was looking through her numbers. She's down to like whatever she's down to. But I guess she was on a show and she ripped on some YouTuber below her who was probably trying to trying to be her or whatever. I don't know. And then she whatever but i just happen to see a very nice voice but i guess she's just psychotic and i was listening to her boyfriend bitch she um oh, what did he say coerced her into taking loans out or whatever and I, I i'm like i'm sorry man it's just like lila you you let this woman tell you to take loans out when she had the money to do it in the first place was she that good in bed Oh God, no! I'm not going to answer you. He's, he's, he's. I'm not. He's. I. He block on. I'm not. I'm live right now. Go away. So he's he's calling the phone, right, Mister Mister Stalker News P- Pizza Wars here. So he's the stalker is in the building. So he's trying to get on the show to save a troll. Not a chance. Not a chance, bitch boy. But anyway, he hung up on the phone. Good. He knows better. I'm trying to sit there and throw in her eye along, but um, so I don't know what it was. So, the, but the boyfriend was talking like, "You're gonna let this woman make you sign the documents?" What did she say? Um, how did he put it? Like he made me. What? I'm like, shut up, shut up. Ah, and I'm like, it was just the Illuminati. It was just like because she was using him for whatever, and she was 25 and she was 31, and again, you know what it was. She was a YouTuber, and he was infatuated with her. So, but I guess she ripped on somebody lower than her, and then whatever it was, and then people got mad at her, and whatever. So she went down like 90%. And she said someone was play, plagiarizing her because the way she edits, whatever else, I don't know. I'm like, but there are just people, there are a lot of people on this video platform that just, their whole job is to just to tear down YouTubers. I mean, if I was a pop of YouTuber, well, God puts this in God. Look, look at look at what uh, uh, Dave Twenty Five is trying to get uh, trying to get the drunk himself, trying to get him to tear me down. I know who I am. You're just a drunk and idiot. You know, homophobe, liberal elite, right? But uh, that's just. <laughs> I mean, oh my God! I'm like, but I listened to one guy. It was pretty good. How she's gone down in flames and. She was. I mean, she's got some good content on there. She did a really good job. on she would multi-marketing people, and but the one she did in the druggers was really good, really disturbing. That whole family should just the mom and dad should be in a huskow for aiding, abetting a pedophile. Their son, you know, it's just that whole thing. You go, go she, she did one on Russell Crowe. Russell, Russell, what his name is. I listened to part of that today, but that was okay. But I used to listen to a lot of her stuff. I noticed where it didn't, I didn't follow when it come through. So, but people just will like to rip. I talk about people. Yeah, I'm not going to do a whole hour, 15 video of Boogie Tonight. I've done two videos already. Walking video, my car video. That whole documentary was all about drama, drama, drama. And the job interview, when I listened to one, he's interviewed. You're not going to tape an interview with with some chick. Come on, I go into a job interview. I'm going gonna, gonna to videotape it. Come on, you guys just get so wrapped up on this stuff and believe what you see in Boogie. He's a liar. He's an obese idiot who should have beat the living crap out of those guys with a bat. Let's fire a gun. He should be in jail for six. He should have went to jail for six years. In my mind, firing a gun. You're done. He, he kind of thought it was funny. The other idiot should have been executed. Both should have been in jail for four years. 
for stalking. But people just love to do that kind of behavior. YouTube's fun, but people get way, way too serious. Way, way too serious. That's what they do. I don't know. What are we going to do, right? But the Illuminati chick, she's good. I mean, I, I like some of her stuff. She's really good. But that's a lot of work, man. You do these videos, you better hope you make money. So she, she did something on a podcast and ripped on somebody. It's just like my favorite guy who had my job was Man vs. Food. Really good guy. He would go to restaurants and try to eat their food. He was really good. He got in a Twitter fight with somebody. And instead of just saying, hey, thanks, he did something back to him. And then they turned him in. He got lost his job. Just simply blocked the person on Twitter or respond in a funny way. But don't do anything negative. Your job is to eat food. That's what your job is. To eat food. Not argue people on goddamn Twitter. Drug time. Get out of here, guys. No second chance. Especially you, grumpy. Shoe. <laughs> I love it. Playing tug of war with, with, with an animal. <laughs> Anyways. But, um, yeah, I just, I, I just, I mean, I just see that because the people that I've listened to will, will, will come through again. And they bitch us, and that's all they do. Just like with um, a Boogie, and like I said, who's that other chick that uh, the, the, well, I talked about her a long time ago? She was going after children. What the hell is that chick's name again? Had the had the I'm sorry video, and you know, trying you know again. Should be you know, I guess it's just it could be get should get rid of it. I mean, I'm sorry. These people when these people are using this this platform to go after children, you're, you're you're done. You're just it's you're you're done. I'm sorry. It's all over the crying the tears. You can't have that kind of behavior. I just had a great time being a caddy master up there at Oak Ridge and being a, 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 excuse me, a coach. I don't know, I just, I don't understand that anymore, but it's just, it's, I don't know how, how, why this world is the way it is. It's not that tough to be a role model to somebody, but I mean, I, I met Zane B when he was 16 with his dad in Chicago. We've been good friends ever since. I had a couple kids I knew well after I coached and were friends, and Alex was my friend well into 20s. We played golf with his, him and his dad. We were friends. That guy lost track of the guy, but he was, we were a good friend all the way from his 12 to probably 20. And we played a lot of golf together, and we did a hell of a lot of fishing together. And we went to a few movies with his dad. We were good friends. You want to have a friendship, you know, from any age. That's, what you, they, you, that's how you are a well-rounded individual. Different religions, different colors of people. Gay, straight. You want to have that. Read, child, meet people. But I don't know, for some reason, it's always someone taking advantage of someone less fortunate all the time. It's nonstop skullduggery in this, in this world. It's just nonstop. People take advantage of. I'm trying to do this drug here. Come on now. I just I just see this behavior going on on YouTube <clears throat> with all these creators and they gotta start pushing out people. I saw some guy, he was in Vegas, and I saw him doing a couple of one and a half minute videos. He did the pinball museum. I I, I said uh, pinball hall thing. I said, Good job, just there. He goes, Thanks. Getting 15, 20 views, just doing quick little videos. I don't know how old he is, but it was something cool. You need to be pushed out, push him out, let people see this guy. Whenever I see something like a small creator, I push it out. Instead of these idiots like Boogie298 and Kid Behind the Canada people, who cares about these people? I mean, live streams, Evil Abe, all the other people, these stalkers, Pipsqueak, you know, um, all these idiot the gamers out here. Come on, go do something substantial in your life. Do something substantial. Please get a job, that's all we're asking. goodness but anyways so yeah i just sometimes i just i don't get it anymore i just don't will be podcasts oh god i know he's still alive or not i just don't know these people it's just littered with people that are still looking for uh you know they, they get fired from their their jobs you know and uh, they, they go on they go on it's in who's this um another guy on here so many audio videos right now. There's just there's so much to listen to right now. Consume. Anyway, 
who's, who's this? Who's that Twins All Mac? I really don't care, but I'll, I'll uh, retweet it. I don't really care. All right. Mm-hmm. Anyways, secret train. All right, there we go. Anyways, so, yeah. Turkey Day coming up on the 23rd. Heavy on the potatoes, easy on the gravy, I always said. We always enjoy it. I, 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 I have turkey like once a month. Be a little turkey, and I love... um. I love having um, uh, an old country buffet was around. Remember that OCB way back when when they were good, and then they got shitty in the food when they all closed. But we used to go there all the time because they had really good um, stuffing. It was, it was a great, great meal. You paid whatever you paid. You eat what you wanted. I mean, it was great. It was a great place to go eat. Old country buffet OCB they called it. It was just you just in the eighties and nineties, then went downhill. But just stuff your face. It was a great place to go. My buddy go there. We just get eat like pigs. It was fun. I don't know whatever was nine, whatever the hell it was, maybe fifteen. I don't know whatever. You just eat whatever you wanted. It was a great buffet, like a good Chinese restaurant. I like them too. A little good buffet. There's one over there, Golden Valley, is really nice. Off of, if you're in Florida, that's a nice one. I've been in the Moon. That thing's that thing's unbelievable. That thing's just huge. Fat Boy was uh, speaking. Where are you, Fat Boy? Hey, Fat Boy, Papa Grizz, Papa Gruncy, Papa Gruncy. Grizz. Let's see if he's been around. Let's see if he's been. Let's see if he's done anything. Or is he dead? Is he dead? Are you, have you really died, Papa Grizz? Go see Papa Grizz. Papa Grizz. Papa Grizz. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Nope, he hasn't done anything. Last time he's done anything, the eleventh day. You know, my favorite video he always did will always be. Was the one where they're at the table just stuffing their face. My favorite video he ever did. They're just stuffing their face like animals. My favorite. <laughs> just in. Trump tells Biden to bring it on in newly released videos. He's raging. <laughs> oh, he's so epic right now. Throw off a political class that hates our country and we will route a news media shell and evict Joe Biden. Crooked you can be. Oh, my God. He, he, The hunch is so, so, so. Let's see here. Now, let's see. Let's see what the hunch has to say. This is great. This is epic. Let's break this down. Let's go. The hunch. Here we go. Here we go. Dun, hang on. Dun, dun, dun. 2024 is our final battle. Mm -hmm, With you at my side, we will demolish the deep state. We will expel the warmongers Mm -hmm. from our government. We will drive out the globalists. We will cast out the communists, Mm -hmm. Marxists, Uh fascists. We will throw off the sick political class that hates our country. I thought thought you were supposed to clean out the swamp, and you didn't. I thought you were supposed to do that. We will rout the fake news media. <laughs> we will evict Joe Biden, crooked as you can be. Joe See, Biden. he said the same thing in a speech. He's reading off a speech he did. He was recently in Florida. The same thing he said. Biden, the worst president mm-hmm. in the history of our country. We will evict him from the White House, <laughs> and we will finish. Like, like you got evicted? <laughs> you got you lost? And you got evicted? This is funny. The job mm-hmm. once and for all. Uh-huh. We will make America Ka- great, great again. again. The mm-hmm. stakes in this election could mm-hmm. not be higher. Oh my God! Next yes. November, you yeah. have a choice between in, war, poverty, and weakness yeah. under crooked Joe yeah. Biden. And, and, and what did you do? You had a chance to leave Afghanistan quietly, and you didn't, and you left it to him. That's the problem. Okay, you you never served this country as Biden. You're you are what they call a draft dodger. For peace, prosperity, and strength mm-hmm. under President Donald J. Trump. Yeah. Uh-huh. Just three years ago... Are you speaking in your third person here? Under you, under me. The economy was booming, the mm-hmm. world was safe, mm-hmm. and America was strong. And, and, you, and, you, and, you, and you allegedly built a, a, a wall that was a joke? Give me a break. Incomes went up by more than $6,000 mm-hmm. under the Trump administration, and they went down... And by- you ran up, the, you ran up, you ran, you spent money like a, like a, like a drunken super. This is hilarious. He's so funny to listen to because he believes what he says, and he brainwashes dumbass white boys about six thousand dollars under the horrible biden administration about give me the about and how he hesitates 
It's just creation, the worst in the history of our country. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The 30-year mortgage rate reached a record low yeah. of 2.65%. Uh-huh. We had no inflation. Really? We had gasoline down to $1.87 no, per gallon. No, you did not. No, you did not. I was also the first president in decades who <laughs> didn't start a war, and I brought our troops back home. Mm-hmm. We defeated ISIS. and that- uh, No, but pretty much Obama did that. And you should have brought everyone home from Afghanistan from the very beginning. And you wouldn't have had that problem, which was wrong. So you, there's no war to start, okay? So it's just been nonstop. It's just, this is- was it. Everybody came back home when mm-hmm. they should be. Yep. Under crooked Joe Biden, the economy is in a <laughs> shambles and the world is going up in flames. No. Real incomes have gone down by $7,400. And, and how many times have you not paid your bills? How many times? Any people that he bankrupt people when he did his casino didn't pay the bill. So, oh God. Dollars per family under crooked Joe. And you're supposed to be a Christian man. And how many? Uh, how many? How many married? I thought you're supposed to be a Christian man, right? Uh, I'd, I'd give respect if he started executing these uh, the Catholics. That'd be great. The, the priests. Gas prices are four, five, six, and seven no, dollars not. a gallon. No, they're not. Q- they're, no, they're not. No, they're not. Not in this state. Not in this state. I know they're high in some spots. I love how he's fear mongering. Well, come on now. Let's get this done. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hang on a second now. I mean, well, come on. Here we go. Sorry. Of inflation is nearly 20%, mm-hmm. and mortgage rates are pushing a brutal 7%, 8%, 9%. And what do you know about working class? What do you know? Nothing. You haven't worked a day in your life. If you're a billionaire, he shouldn't need money from dumbass white folks. That's all I'm saying. He's a millionaire billionaire. This guy is using these white folk. I'm sorry. He likes fear mongering. Why don't you go to debates, you little coward? Go to the debates. 10% and you can't get the money. We have war in Europe. We have wars in the Middle East. And, we and those are- war are not our problem. They're not our problem. I get it. I'm not, they're not our problem. Okay, so don't tell me he, that he they would have invaded no matter what. I, I just this 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 is hilarious. This, these speeches are so great because he's just he's playing to the fears of the dumb ass white boys who are brainwashed. Stumbling into World War Three. That's mm-hmm. what's going to happen with this leadership. I love it. I love how he's saying that. We're, we're, and what would you do? Would, would you be the first one? You didn't even you didn't even tell your 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 people. Hey, I'm going down the, to, to the January six. You sat there and watched. You sat there and watch. You're, he's a coward, man. This guy, he, they're not going to win. They'll find a way to get Biden back in there. Don't worry. Because they don't know what they're doing. You the never did. The contrast could not be more stark. The road back to peace, stability, prosperity. Either one of you belong in the office. Either one of you belong in office. You're too old. He's an old man, and you're a bold-faced little liar. You don't belong in office. You never worked for a living. You never served. Neither have I. We need people that have served our country. And done it for four years. You know, some idiot who thinks he knows what he's doing, who fires people that he hired. The insecurity for your family begins with a landslide Trump victory <laughs> in one year. A landslide loss, what's going to be. They'll find a way to cheat. I don't care if they got you. He's not going to get in. I told him, I'm just not. He's just, this is such a great speech because he's just, that angry look on it. All these white folk are like, oh my God. Why don't you go, why don't you go into debates and die on your feet, you coward? Come on. Now we will make America great, great. again, okay. you say? greater than ever before. Uh-huh. Thank you, Joe you- Biden and the radical left Democrats <laughs> are trying to pose as the defenders mm-hmm. of democracy, mm-hmm. but in fact they're the ones destroying our democracy. Mm-hmm. Crooked Joe and his henchmen have tried to shut down free speech. But see, if, if, if he wants to have respect, his name is President Biden. And I call him Donald J. Trump the hunch, but President Donald, the former President Donald J. Trump, I guess I'd be respectful if he walked out, I'd shake his hand. If he wants to be respectable, refer him as uh, uh, President Biden. I just, it's, you're, you're just being a pedulant a pedul- a pledge- a pedul- a pedul- little child. With a massive government censorship operation mm-hmm. yep. to silence their critics. Yep. They're putting Douglas McKay <laughs> in jail for sharing a joking meme about Hillary Clinton seven years ago. Nobody. Uh huh. Um, what about your the documents you were sharing too, as well, with people? He just doesn't want to admit that either. I'm sorry, they've all done it, but he's just done to get caught. He's just, it's just the guy, just. I, 
you just don't do that. You don't show docking to people. You don't do. He put people in uh, a military in, in harm's way, like it or not. And I don't want in COVID. You did nothing about it. Nothing about it. It was fake news. You ever right? heard of anything like that? They have four bogus criminal cases trying to put their <laughs> leading political rival, mm-hmm. me, yeah. in prison. Let's put him in prison. And that's where you belong. That's where you belong. Because you're a criminal. And you're a con artist and a liar. Plain and simple. Leading by a lot. Uh-huh. There's no way we can beat him. Let's put him in prison. They're running police state operations to infiltrate <laughs> the Catholic Church Let- as if it were a communist. The Catholic Churches are pedophiles. Period. And so is Baptists. They need to start executing people who molest children. Do you think that's okay, young man? You walked across the street like you were in church. Remember that time you did that and the gentleman made a poor choice? They need to get rid of the Catholics. They need to start executing and burning down churches. Okay? In this country, they're persecuting Christians and pro-life activists. They're not they're persecuting. Pers- There's got to be a choice. There's got to be, hey, give free birth control to these, these women out there. And you'll avoid a lot of birth control. These Catholic church be burned in the ground. Do you care about children being molested and hurt in this country? You better. It's happening all the time. Baptist down south. Catholic community. Start executing these people. Executing anybody they want to persecute. They've labeled ordinary Republicans and parents at school board meetings as potential. Do- you label people as rhinos. I mean, you, you, he does have some to understand, but these people don't care about me and you. I still believe in middle America, ladies and gentlemen. I still believe in middle America. He hasn't worked a day in his life. This is why a one six-year term and he's done. Get out. Two times four in the House and Senate and we elect Supreme Court. That's Domestic it. Domestic terrorists. They're resettling millions of migrants into our communities, destroying our country. Which is, which is yes, I agree, which is wrong. DeSantis is, 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 is human trafficking and he should be arrested for that behavior. He is doing that. And that's wrong. Okay, just set them back. You can't do that behavior. That is that is wrong. How they're doing that? I will agree with them on that. That is wrong. You can't do that. Turn around, go back. I totally agree with on that. You just you're gone. I totally agree on that. Never been destroyed before. They're calling our citizens criminals. They rigged the last election. They it. rigged the Democrats. I love how they still use a rig. You lost. Just you lost. Okay. Look look at the buddy here, Mike Mundell, who wanted to have. He wanted to have a police state in my country, my state. He wanted to, oh, he wanted, I mean, he's quoted Nazis. Come on, man, you guys. Primary, and they're trying to get their rivals thrown off the ballot everywhere <laughs> they can. And they're constantly trying to mm-hmm. delegitimize the Supreme Court uh-huh. of the United States and threatening conservatives. We need to elect them, not select them. You're two times five and you're out. Get out. They're bought and paid for up there, big boy. And you, I love how he bits the people. You hired a lot of people and fired these people. That's the problem with you. But of judges with violence. Mm-hmm. In short, nothing about crooked Joe Biden <laughs> and the anti-democratic party has anything to do with defending mm-hmm. democracy. Mm-hmm. So if Crooked Joe wants to turn this election into a question of which candidate will defend our democracy you and freedom. You won't. You've never served. And I say, bring it on. Let's go, Joe. Bring it on. Because well, you are a corrupt person. You're the most corrupt. And you are, too, as well. You were a very corrupt person. Bring it on. Then go to the debates. And I want to hear what you have to say on the stage. Go to the debates. Have some balls the size of basketball. And go to the debates. Come on, bring it on, bitch boy. President in our history, and by the way, the most incompetent president. And speaking in our of history. that, yeah, you are too because as well. Because Americans don't like time. You elected people, and you, you, when you put people in office, and then you fired them because they weren't going to listen to what you had to say. How many people did you fire you hired? God, I mean, come on. We don't like fascists. We don't like communists. And and you we are. We don't like crooked Joe Biden. You have embraced the commies. You've quoted Hitler. I mean, you, you think you, Putin is the greatest thing in the world. Come on, man. Just have to look at the polls. With your vote on Election Day 2024, it's not gonna happen. America will be a free nation once again. We it already is. Free and we it already is a free nation. It already is a free nation. I vote libertarian. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a card-carrying person who loves this country, who adores this country. And I, I, love, I love this country. And I'll do anything to protect it. 
but I'm just sick and tired of this behavior we're going through. We all got to learn to get along. It really, really pisses me off that my old, my old man was a Republican, okay? A card-carrying union man. I voted. I voted Libertarian. It's not a throwaway vote. I get up and go to work every single day. I'm not a millionaire. My, I do have money my mother gave me. I have no one in there. But I go. I get up every morning like I'm broke. I'm motivated to work. I could probably sit home and live off that money. Probably could, but I'm not going to. If I was a, if she dies tomorrow, yeah, I'll probably. I'll, if she goes for that, I probably will be. A, I'll probably take my money, give this house to my brother, and I will drive around the country and be a no man and then see the and see the country. But I'll work until the day I die. This man, I don't hate this guy, but he has not worked a day in his life, you guys. A day in his life. He's conning you guys. He's conning people out of money. Why would you give this guy? I don't give any money to anybody. I'd give it to the mayor before I'd give it to him. I already give him money because my government money goes to him. I, I, I just, it's, I, I take care of my wife, my neighborhood, anybody in my town, anybody in my, in my neighborhood needs anything from me. They can, I'll shovel their driveway. I don't care. I'll do the lawn. My city, my state, and my country. He is, I've never served. I would go see the movie the day after. They talked about that. I just love the fear mong. You list these, these dumbass white boys trying to say JFK was whoever the hell it was. They still think JFK is still alive. I mean, Junior's like, what is wrong with you people? That's what they think. The JFK is coming back. I know, I know that um, Mike Lindell is JFK or something. I'm like, it's, you listen to good liars. These people are just dumb. And they're my age. I feel sorry for these people. God, I'm begging you people. I'm begging you people. You really, really have to grow up. And we have to get along in this country. Come together as one. Take care of our elderly people, our children in our community, our schools. Good health insurance. Pay as you go. Yeah, secure our borders. That's what we need to do. But it's just like, for Christ's sake, this guy, this guy is your bitch boy. I mean, you like this guy. You're nuts. You're nuts. You're crazy. I don't want to have your baby. But we're doing some rail fanning. We're going to have some videos coming up on this channel. I'm getting some legwork on this channel. It's kind of cool to see how I'm getting some growth on videos, a non-monetized channel. I've been testing that. It's kind of fun to see that, to put up some stuff. I'm going to put some rail fanning ones up, and I'm going to do that. And five minutes? Good enough. All right, good enough. we got five minutes from the, from the warden here. So, anyways, I hope you guys have a great turkey day. I really do. And uh, remember, be thankful for whatever you don't have. Like I said, remember the military men of the armed forces, the Air Force, the Army, and the Marines, and the Navy, and the Merchant, and the NASCAR Coast Guard. They're in and out of uniform. I and myself and all the boys, we appreciate your service this beautiful, beautiful country. If you're not a cop, call crack yet. They have balls, and I mean balls, the size of a, and always have oak trees. Be thankful you're a citizen. You are dying in the seas and the deserts to get here. Get out and vote. Behave yourself. Don't be stupid. But they storm those beaches on D-Day, you guys. And World War One and Vietnam, the Forgotten War, and Afghanistan, other wars for us. I don't hate Donald J. Trump, and I don't love Biden either. I love this country, and people that love the country, I love them too. White, black, Hispanic, gay, it doesn't matter to me. We need to learn to get along. Make good choices in your life. You are your choices. Don't run with poor people and you'll be poor. I run with people with money and values. You are who you run with by making good choices. It's safe sex, thrill pill, trend cherry past. Okay? That's all we're asking. Let's go over here real quick. Let's go with... um. I'll go eyes of eyes of glory. Hang on, say so when are we going to eyes of glory? So, anyways, um, I don't need that. I need, I need to hang on. Where are we going to go now? Eyes of glory. Title eyes. We'll go eyes of glory. Here we go. Eyes of glory. So, anyways, that's right. Mm-hmm. Don't drink and drive. Please call someone. You're going to murder someone. Pick up the phone. Have a great Thanksgiving, everybody out there. 
heavy on the potatoes. E, easy E, easy on the gravy. From the poor side of Minnetonka, in the shallow shady old lake, it's fear, it's fear, Mongan Radio. Be thankful that you are loving life. Wherever you're at, have a great holiday weekend. God bless the working class. This voice, this channel, we are out!